Microsoft reversed another unpopular Xbox One policy. In other news, a bear took a shit in the woods this morning. Oh man, Microsoft, you just can't make up your mind, can you? Back at E3, the Xbox One was revealed to have all sorts of always online features like the ability to share games with family members whether or not they own them. Then that was removed because people love paying $4 less than retail for a used game at GameStop. Also because Microsoft would check every 24 hours to make sure the game being played by your friends was actually owned by you. Pesky DRM. It was also revealed back in June that the Kinect would not only be bundled in with every Xbox One, but that it would always be on and listening to your conversation regardless of the system being on or off. Microsoft soon reversed on that policy and would allow you to shut off the listening, but still forced you to have Kinect connected for the Xbox One to even operate properly. Gamers were still pissed. Not only because Kinect was still watching, but not watching you at all times, but because it was a mandatory accessory that tacked an extra $100 to the price tag of the system. Well now, Microsoft has reversed its stance on Kinect again. This time saying the whole thing can be turned off and the Xbox One will work just fine. In an AMA on IGN, Microsoft's chief Xbox One architect, Mark Witten, said, quote, you have the ability to completely turn the sensor off in your settings, when in this mode, the sensor is not collecting any information. Any functionality that relies on voice, video, gesture, or more won't work. You can turn the sensor back on at any time through settings, and if you enter into a required Kinect experience, you'll get a message asking if you want to turn the sensor back on in order to continue. With this sudden reversal in policy at Microsoft, gamers are left wondering how disconnected is disconnected? Can the Kinect be unplugged, or better yet, never taken out of the package? And if the Kinect isn't necessary at all, shouldn't that mean something like, oh, I don't know, say a cheaper non-Kinect bundled version of the Xbox One go on sale for $399 in an attempt to go head to head with the cheaper PS4? What do you guys think is gonna happen? Will a cheaper Xbox One Sans Connect be announced soon? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna know which one is better, Chromecast or AirPlay, then you wanna check out today's episode of Soldiers Tech Battlefield. And on behalf of Annie, myself, and the rest of the crew here at TechFeed, we'd like to thank all of our 100,000 subscribers. And if uh, you wanna know if you won the iPad Mini, we'll be contacting you through email. So thanks again, and as always, if you haven't already, please, subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I'll see you next week when Microsoft reverses another Xbox One policy. Cause that's pretty much what I do here every week. I, oh no, it's Microsoft changed again. Time to do another episode of TFN. Who knows, maybe I'll be back uh, like three days from now telling you that they are gonna make an Xbox One without the Kinect for $3.99. Anything can happen! It's Microsoft!